I cannot believe summer is over. Is it me or did it honestly just fly by? Even though it still feels like hell outside, it's over. We're moving into fall already. Pumpkin spice lattes are back. I went to Home Goods and they're ready for Halloween. They're ready for Thanksgiving. They're ready for Christmas. They're ready for like everything but summer. And I'm, I'm not mad about it. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be sharing with you guys my top favorite items from the summer. It's a blend of beauty, hair, lifestyle, just things that I truly love, things that made my summer so much better. And these are honestly gonna be going into fall, winter, and so on because I like them so much, but they were items that I absolutely loved and I wanna share that with you guys. So that's all for the intro. I guess we're ready to get this video started. So let's start off. This one is so random, but I do always have it in all my videos and I always have it on my Instagram stories and snaps and you guys always ask where I got it at but that is this jumbo water jug this is actually I think one gallon it, it's actually a gallon let me see it's like 73 ounces probably a little more because it stops right there every day I fill this up I use this every single day and I drink my water I drink that much water every single day I got this on Amazon and it is made such a difference like right now it is seven o'clock and I have this much left by the end of the night this will be completely done it'll be in me so it reminds me to drink my water and it's actually really nice to take to the gym because when I'm at the gym I drink a ton of water I get super thirsty during my workouts um, when I leave my session I'm usually I usually can drink up to about right there so it's a lot of water um, but this is something that I mean it's good to have it's super awesome me and Sebastian both have one and we use it all the time it made my summer so much better and something that I highly recommend if you are somebody who needs to drink more water wants to get on the water game or just is looking for a really awesome water bottle this is totally worth it all right, so the next items are some body items, and these are lotions. These are actually scented, and they are delicious. These smell incredible, super nourishing and hydrating. First one of my favorites is this one from Sol Janeiro. This is their Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I'm already like, oh, because it smells like heaven. You smell like you're like at the beach. It smells so good, and I just absolutely love this. It's actually a brand new one that I just got because I already finished up my other one, but this one was one of my absolute favorites. The scent is what sold me on this, and then afterwards when I saw that it really hydrates and it keeps your skin feeling nice and moist, I was like completely sold on this. I highly recommend this one. And then the other two are from the body shop these are delicious so these are their body yogurts if you guys don't like a very thick moisturizer this one's on the more thicker side this is on the more lightweight side you will love these and my favorite scent was the strawberry one. Oh. It smells so good. This one is the almond milk uh, scent. I have this also in the cream and the body wash. The yogurts are just gonna be super lightweight. They're still gonna hydrate, but they're not gonna feel heavy. Also, these are both 100% vegan and made with almond milk. Since we're still on body products, I'm gonna share two more body products that are my favorite, and I use these all the time. I'm sure you guys already know, and that's my body glow. I've talked about these so many times, especially this one. So Melanie Mills, this is the Sandra Deluxe uh, Gleam Body Radiance and Peach Deluxe. This is actually what I have just on me. I love using this stuff all the time when I want glow to the body. If you're going out, I mean, anywhere you're going to, add it to your legs, makes a difference. But I use this all summer long. And then another one is the Sol Jihanero Glow Oil. This one I discovered midsummer and absolutely love it. Smells like the Bum Bum Cream, gives you that glow. I know the oil might scare people, but it just is very hydrating. It's not sticky at all once it's on, which is what I really like. So you can still wear your hair down. But yeah, these two are like a power combo. So I personally like to add a little bit of this one on first and then this one over it. And it gives me like the ultimate bronze glow. But body glows, I feel, are always really good year round that's what you're going out um, they do add a little bit of color to your legs so don't worry if you got some white ass legs like me they will be nice and bronzy but they also give you the glow so you're gonna look nice and how do I say you're gonna look like a like a glazed churro, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, the next item on my list is this hair powder from Bumble and Bumble. This is by far one of the best hair products I've used in a really long time for hair. If you guys are receding, if you guys have little grays, if your roots coming out, if you wear extensions like me and they're always showing and you need to cover them, this thing has your back. So pretty much, it was my dose party and my friend gave me like a little bob with extensions and there was a difference in color between my natural color and the extension. The last thing I want is to like dance and move and then the extension show, the track be noticeable. So she told me about this powder. It's like a hair paint, think of it that way. You just gonna add that color on to anywhere where you need it. So for me, I would do it on the extensions and then it would blend and 
you can tell that I have tracks on. And if they do, I'd rather them blend in than be very noticeable. Um, so I can only imagine this working amazing for anybody who has a little bit of grays coming out or needs root touch up or just needs a little bit of color in some areas. What's good about this too is that it has a matte finish. So it's not gonna look glossy or noticeable once it's on. So that's the reason why I really like it because I don't need it shining and showing that like it's there. I want it to be very low key and that's what this gives me. Let's move into some. All right, so the next item on my favorites from this summer is this Summer Friday Jet Lag Mask. This is one of my favorite masks that I love to use and I love traveling with. For me, this is perfect because I do travel a lot, so I always need like a mask to go. So I'm taking this with me and it truly lives up to the Jet Lag name. Very hydrating mask, which is perfect because when I travel at least, my skin gets very dry, very textured. It just needs a ton of hydration. And some masks can irritate my skin or dry me out. Actually, they added some so you guys can see how it looks like. It actually looks like a lotion when you put it on. Once I leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes, when I look in the mirror, it looks honestly just like I have a ton of lotion on. It almost like melts into your skin. Um, from there, I personally like to go in with a like a damp, wet kind of towel and I'll just remove it off versus putting water on. My skin feels super plump, super hydrated. Something too that's really great to know about this, I'm gonna just mention it right now. Uber Dewy Hydrating Mask soothes thirsty, stressed out skin, steeping cells into nourishing mix of vitamins, antioxidants, and gently exfoliating extracts. Skin looks instantly renewed, radiant, and ready for anything. And honestly, that's what it does. Also, this is paraben free, no synthetic dyes or fragrances, cruelty free, sulfate free, and vegan. So in case you guys are wondering, um, if you guys are on the hunt for a mask, you don't have to be a traveler to use it, but if you guys are looking for something to give you instant hydration and make your skin just look renewed and refreshed, this is one that I would definitely, definitely try out. Next up are these skin tints. I never thought I would say I love skin tints, but I absolutely love these. These are my absolute favorite this summer and love them for so many reasons. And so if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I'm normally not into light coverage foundations. I'm one of those that I either need full coverage or just no makeup at all. This year, I started to kind of want to change that. I wanted to try new stuff. Um, I didn't want to wear like a sheer foundation. I just wanted something very light that would even out my skin, take away any redness, still show my freckles, but look as natural as possible. And these two did it for me. So the first one is the Lancome Skin Feels Good. This one is a hydrating skin tint, gives your skin a ton of glow, gives you a really good amount of coverage, um, and just feels like you have nothing on. I wore this on some of my, my trips this summer and loved how my skin looked in it. So I'd wear this, do a little spot concealing and highlight, and that was it. Love the way this made my skin look and feel, and Mac Daddy got me on this one. I wear the shade Sand. And then the second one is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. This is also another hydrating tint. And this one has hyaluronic acid, so it's going to moisturize and plump your skin. And this one is just like a drop of foundation into everything out. My skin looks flowy, not heavy at all. So if you're someone that doesn't like a lot of foundation but wants just a little bit of evenness, I think you guys are really going to love these. So the reason I'm trying both of them is because this one's a little more high end. This one is drugstore. Very similar finishes, but they're both absolutely amazing. So next are two of my absolute favorite perfumes that I was wearing all summer long. And the first one is my Lalabo Santal 33. This is my signature scent. If you know me and you've hugged me and you've been around me, been in my house, you know that this is what I smell like. It's a sandalwood perfume. I've mentioned this in a video before, but this was like my daytime perfume that I was wearing all summer pretty much all year long, it's amazing. And the next perfume is new to my circle of perfumes and it's probably one of my favorites at the moment. It smells so, so good. And I've seen this perfume so many times at Sephora and I've never been attracted to grab it because I don't think the bottle's pretty, but it smells absolutely incredible and that is the Alien perfume. This bottle is not my favorite, but the smell is absolutely incredible. I discovered this recently, one of my friends is wearing it and I couldn't get over how amazing she smelled. I just kept complimenting her. Every whiff, I'm like, oh my gosh, she smells it smells so good. Like it smells like a damn woman. The notes in this are incredible and the minute it touched me, I just felt like a different person. I was like, I'm that bitch. And then the first day I wore around even Sebas, he noticed the scent. He literally was drooling. He's like, that smells incredible. Like it smells sexy, really, really good. And then every time I wear it, I get so many compliments on it. So if you guys ever run into me, just know that I'm wearing either one of these. They smell so good. And since we're on the topic of scents, we're gonna move into the next items, which you guys are probably not gonna be shocked with. <laughs> I'm a hoarder. There, I said it. I'm obsessed with Bath & Body Work candles. I don't know what they do to me. Every time I go into Bath & Body Works, I need to get every single candle. I just went on like a crazy spree the other day and I got all the fall ones, but I wanna share with you guys some of my favorite summer ones. It's so funny, cause I'm actually burning the fall one right now and it smells, the aroma is just amazing in here. 
Unfortunately, I ran through most of my candles already, so I have four left from this summer, and I wanted to share with you guys which ones I left. So the first one is this pool party one. This one is a cool blue water coconut suntan lotion sun softened musk. I like the smell of sunscreen with like a hint of coconut. You will love the way the way this smells. And then the other one that I loved is this Sweet Summer Days of Watermelon scent. Pink watermelon, crushed ice, watery cucumber, sugar crystals. Like just envision that in a candle. And then the other two ones, these aren't really summery, but I did burn them through summer. Um, the first one is a vanilla bean. Madagascar vanilla bean, homemade marshmallow, fresh steamed milk with essential oil. If that doesn't get you excited, then I don't know, I think you gotta come over and smell it. And the last one is one that I would burn in the morning, especially when we're cooking like breakfast. If you guys love coffee, you're gonna love this one, and that is the Paris Cafe. So this one is rich roasted sugar, sugar something, vanilla cream. It smells like coffee, it smells like a French cafe. The vibes are right, the aesthetic is amazing. That's what this smells like. Really sad that I didn't save any of my other ones, at least the containers for this video because I swear there was so many summer candles that I just was like, there's no more anywhere, they're all gone. But we can totally do a fall one because I have a ton of fall candles right now that I'm obsessed with. Okay, moving on to the next items. Next one is a Holy Grail Ride or Die Moisturizer. I share it all the time. I started using this before summer and use it till this day. And that is the Ulla Hendrickson Seabrush Brightening Gel Cream. One of my absolute favorite daytime moisturizers out there. It's a gel, so it's very, very lightweight, but this thing is packed with so much hydration. It gives your skin the ultimate glow. It truly gives you so much radiance. So this, along with the skin tints, is incredible. I feel like my skin looks plumped every time I use it. This one is three sources of vitamin C. So it's brightening rose and winter extracts. And then um, can be used day and night. I love this one more for daytime though. I think it's perfect. And I feel like it's a, this will be good for normal to dry skin. Oily, I feel you probably could still use it, but would definitely check on that or at least get a sample of it and try it out. It will change your skin. You absolutely love it. So next on my list are these bike shorts. Bike shorts were honestly my jam all summer long. I started wearing these with outfits and then for my workouts and then to like run errands and then for my workouts and I just never left them and here we are. And these are actually from a brand called Lorna Jane, an active wear line. And I actually got these on accident because I was looking for some in the mall, couldn't find any and on my way out, I passed by the store and I just decided to stop in there and ask and they had them in there. So a couple things, these are a little pricey. They're like 60, $70. They're amazing material. They are also high-waisted and have support on the inside. So it's not just like a material that sits on top. They truly give support to smooth out the midsection area. Throughout the day, they don't loosen up. Some bike shorts I've worn in the past, they tend to loosen up a little bit, but these stay fit and put all day long. Or this is my last vlog. And I do have two other bike shorts. These definitely beat them for sure. So the next items that I absolutely loved all summer long and I don't want them to phase away is the layered gold chains. I think I've worn these in almost all my photos. I just absolutely love the way it looks. It takes the most basic outfit and makes it better. And the brand that I like to get them from is from Irene Me Collection. I always talk about them on my Insta stories and it's actually mainly the only jewelry brand that I like to wear. This is one of the necklaces that I love. And then just layer them, but I absolutely love the way the layer chains look. I think they look so pretty. This one is so freaking cute. I'm one of those that I kind of am reckless with my jewelry. Like I'll wear it, I'll take it off, I'll throw it. And then if I find it again, I find it. But I really take a lot of pride into putting these away. So I keep the little bags that come in for that reason. Obviously another favorite were just like earrings this year. Like I like absolutely just love earrings now um, so I have these right here you see they just look so cute I'm actually one that just likes to wear like a little earring and that's it but I really got into jewelry this year and I'm happy I did because I feel like it changes an outfit so much I love it all right the next items that are some of my favorites from the summer are these little hats right here I feel like I wear these all the time and I love them they're so cute I feel so chic I feel like a little blogger when I wear them and that's actually who gave me the inspiration was all these bloggers are wearing them all summer long I want to say since like last summer they've been wearing them I feel anybody can wear them too like I know they can be a little intense because they do kind of look like captain hat this one this one looks like a damn captain hat but they are so cute like I love them I absolutely love them and I wear them when Ever. I'm just gonna do like a simple makeup and a lip and I'm gonna wear my hair down and it's something that I feel like I'm gonna roll into fall as well This is from the brand lack of color a little pricey 
I'm not gonna lie, but the quality is bomb on them. Cause trust me, I have some that are a little cheaper and the quality is not the same. Like these are worth it. They are firm and they just, I mean, Hello. Um, this one is from Brixton. I got this at Free People and I love this one. This is just so cute. I love all the detail on there. And then this one's one from Windsor. I just love the gray. So I feel like the material you can like roll it into fall. It's not just like summer, but I love these. All right, the next items that I fell in love with this summer and I have to share it with you guys. They're so cool. It's these mitts right here. These are for the body. Best exfoliation ever ever so i actually use the face version to scrub my face i get them from my esthetician crystal she recommended two i'm gonna recommend two because you can get more done this way you just feel so different trust me on this add your body wash rub it in and then you just literally perfect to do before the beach before you're gonna wear shorts out and about a dress you got somewhere to go you want your skin to look new this will change it all for you love these last and final item that made summer 2018 100 times better is and i know this may be a little conceited is my collection with dosa colors i truly feel so proud of this this little baby this truly made summer 2018 100 times better honestly we finished off the summer with the bang and it's something i'm so proud about yeah, look how it just matches with the background it's just it's meant to be so this is actually one of the extra boxes that i have and i actually want to give it away to one of you guys so all you gotta do is comment down below let me know what your favorite summer items were make sure to leave either your instagram handle or your email where i can contact you at because i want to make sure that the winner gets their hands on this i will select a winner in the upcoming days and then announce it in the description and then on my instagram as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video let me know if you want to continue seeing me doing favorites video whether it's like bath and body work favorites home favorites i actually really enjoy doing them i love being able to talk with you guys about products that i'm loving and things that are working for me so with that being said i'm ready for fall i'm about to go get myself a pumpkin spice latte right now so with that being said i will see you guys on my next video bye